In a previous project, we used sugar, stump remover, and a little bit of kitty litter to make E45 equivalent rocket motors. In this project, we're adding time delays, ejection charges, and sending a duct tape rocket over a thousand feet high. I just made 10 rocket motors for under $5, and they only took about 10 minutes each. Now to see if they'll even work at all, let's strap one to a couple of bricks for static testing and light it up. When the propellant catches, you can see it's actually got an impressive amount of thrust. Now of course this begs the obvious question, what would happen if we put one in the paper rocket from a previous project? So I just made a glorified version of the same thing using cardboard and duct tape. You can see the cardboard fins are just hot glued to the body, and I reinforced the upper part of the tube with 3 quarter inch PVC pipe to keep it rigid. The hole at the back has just enough room to accept a single sugar motor, and you can see a little metal wire holds it down in place. Okay, our rocket is loaded and ready to fly, but we still need a way to launch it. I used the lid of a cooking pot and a sawed off marshmallow roasting stick to make a simple blast pad, and the rocket's just held on with pieces cut from the body tube of a pen. Alright, let's light it off and see how it does. Now that's not too shabby for a rocket made from sugar and cardboard. From the time of Apogee, it took a little over 8 seconds to hit the ground, which means this thing shot up over a thousand feet high. How cool is that? The problem, of course, is that there's no parachute on this thing, which means it's going to lawn dart straight into the ground every time. That's exactly why I'm out in the boonies, miles away from any people or property. Now it's important to mention here that potassium nitrate is hygroscopic, meaning when the propellant is exposed to air, it'll slowly absorb moisture until the fuel loses potency. This mix is about a month old and won't even light off anymore, and you can see this rocket doesn't produce any thrust whatsoever. To reverse the hydration, you could put it in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, if you're willing to risk the possibility of an insurance claim. Okay, to make a parachute ejection charge, we're going to need to add a time delay function and a little black powder. I just made this one out of acrylic so you can see exactly what will be happening inside the motor during launch. You can see that when the white mix ignites, it burns incredibly fast and stops suddenly at the black mark where the delay mix begins. This amount of powder should give about a 5 second delay, then ignite the ejection charge, which you'll see how to make in just a minute. Now the recipe for delay mix is so incredibly simple. All we need to do is separate 20 grams of the white mix made in our sugar rocket project and add 15% baking soda by weight, which in this case brings the mix up to 23 grams total. Put the modified mix in a container and shake it around for about a minute to blend it together as much as possible. And that's it. Just by adding a little baking soda, we've modified the rocket propellant into a fairly reliable time delay mix that'll burn one second for every sixteenth of an inch. I typically use a five second delay on my motors and ended up making a new ramrod to fit that profile. It should be obvious that the delay mix goes in after the white mix but before the kitty litter end cap. The last step is the ejection charge, and for that we need a little black powder and a small drill bit. The bit I'm using is a 332 inch bit, and using the modified template we can gauge how deep we'll need to drill through the clay plug to expose the delay mix underneath. This will need to be drilled out by hand the same way we did the nozzle in the sugar rocket video, and it's important to watch carefully for a trace of white powder on the tip of the bit. This is our confirmation that we're all the way through the clay. So to finish up, let's drop a bit of black powder down the hole, cover the clay plug a few grains deep, then compact it with a few taps from the wooden rod. This compacted ejection charge should hold firmly in place, and the modified rocket motor is finished. Now using another acrylic motor, you can see that the instant the burn hits the delay mix, it stops suddenly and burns dramatically slower for about 5 seconds. When it reaches the black powder though, the charge ignites with enough power to push out a parachute. The delay can be adjusted for any length of time we need, and the rule of thumb is a sixteenth of an inch per second. Well now you know how to modify your sugar motors to have time delays and parachute ejection charges, rather than taking the riskier approach of launching duct tape rockets and just hoping they don't hit anything important. Well that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey, if you're across the pond or in another country, I realize you may not have access to some of these materials. So I've got another rocket building project coming up that I guarantee you'll be able to do. So keep an eye out for that video coming very soon. And in the meantime, if you still want to build rocket motors like these, I strongly recommend you join a rocket club first so you don't get yourself into trouble. There are a lot of regulations and safety precautions that you need to be aware of.
One thing I didn't tell you is that these motors can be modified to work with SD's model rockets as well. But I'm thinking about doing a video on building a rocket with a parachute from scratch. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments and I may put together something for next spring. And one final thought. If you have to ask where to get black powder, this definitely isn't a project you should be playing with yet. But let me just say this. It's actually easier to find than potassium nitrate. Thanks for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and I hope to see you around for the next project video. Bye.